Okay, now we're just going to take a really brief look at the mix window and get you guys working with plugins just a little bit. So uh, we're going to go up here to where it says window, the window menu. And you'll see that it's checked on the edit window right now. We're going to click on the mix window, which the hotkey for that is Apple equals. So you can toggle really quick back and forth between the two with Apple equals. So now you'll see in this mix window, we just have our three tracks here. We got our click, we got our acoustic, and we got our drum loop here. And if you want to rename, this is kind of named, this is named something weird. So I'm going to double click this and rename it drum loop. All right. So this, this, as you can see, it's the mix window. It looks kind of like a, uh, a mixer. You have, uh, you have a fader here, um, which you can turn down the level. Uh, turn up and down the level with. Uh, above that, you have a, uh, a couple buttons. You have mute, you have solo, and you have record arm. Uh, you can, you know, you can, obviously those are self-explanatory. Uh, moving up from there, uh, this, this little thing is, uh, is just a, uh, your pan indicator. It tells you where you're panned, and this little dial here is your pan. Uh, a lot of mixers, of course, have a little rotary dial, but this is just how Pro Tools does it. You can pan, and obviously this is just moving the signal from the left to the right or wherever. I want it just, let's say, a little bit left. Uh, and moving up from there, you have this is your automation uh, uh, um, setting. We don't, we're, we're, we won't go into that now. That's a little more advanced. Uh, this is your output assignment and your input assignment, which we went over in section one. And above this, these are actually our sends, which we're, uh, we'll go into in another section. But going up from there, uh, we're gonna, these are our inserts, and this is what we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, if, you, if you click on uh, one of these inserts, now if you remember, we, we use these inserts to create our click track. And if uh, you use them the same way, if you want to put uh, an effect on a track, which that's what a plugin is, it's an effect, uh, and that can be anything from compression, uh, compression and limiting to EQ to reverb to delay, uh, modulation, whatever. Uh, and there's plenty of plugin manufacturers out there, and Pro Tools actually ships with a lot of really good uh, plugins that you can use. So we're going to click on this top one here doesn't matter which one you click on, just click on one of them. And we're going to go to Plugin. And then as you can see, they're organized by category here. You got EQ, Dynamics, Pitch Shift, Reverb, Delay, Modulation, Harmonic, a, a whole bunch of uh, different plugins. We're going to go to EQ, and we're going to select 7-band EQ3, which is a free plugin that ships with, uh, with Pro Tools. We're going to click that, and then there's our EQ. It's a really uh, uh, pr a pretty little display here. And now our, our acoustic has an EQ on it. Now, right now, as you can see by the display, it's just flat. It's not doing anything. But if I, if I hit play, which is spacebar, let's mute our drum track, actually. I'll hit the mute on that. I go over here and I drag this top end up here. You can hear that changing. So let's say I just want to add a little bit of bottom end and a little top end. This, this, this EQ is really cool because it has this little graphic interface. Not all EQs have this, but you can grab these little uh, bubbles here and basically create the kind of curve that you want to. And of course here I'm just turning up some low end, turning down some mids, and turning up some high end. Let's say I don't, I don't really like that low end, I can bring it down. Of course I'm not actually processing any audio right now. This is all real time. It's, uh, it's, it's affecting it in real time, which is really cool.
Great. So once you're done with that, you can you can uh, X out of that on the on the top uh, top left hand corner here. Let's also put a uh, let's put a let's put a, a reverb on our on our drums. Let's mute our let's mute our acoustics so we can just hear our drums here. They have a little verb on them, but I want I, I want there to be some more verb. So I'm going to go to this insert up here and go to reverb. And I'm going to click on the D verb, which is the free verb that comes with Pro Tools. By default, uh, it, it comes up with, uh, I think, a, a hall. Yeah, this large hall. That sounds pretty good, but it's a little bit too much reverb. So I'm just going to grab this mix knob and turn it down to about 20%. That sounds pretty good, and now if I unmute my acoustic track, and uh, that's just barely scratching the surface. But as you can see, there's a uh, there's a whole slew of effects that you can use, and of course, you can. In addition to the ones that come with Pro Tools, there's all sorts of companies like Waves uh, uh, that make you know, lots and lots of plugins. They they sell bundles like the uh, the Diamond Bundle. And I think they have the Mercury Bundle now that has you know thousands of plugins that you can use inside of Pro Tools. And this way, you can get your song really refined and really sounding good and sounding how you want. So that's a real brief intro to mixing and plugins inside of Pro Tools.